Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Today we got more of a serious video. We're talking about Jacqueline and her daughter, Ren, the one that she's been exploiting like crazy on the internet. We talked about her before, uh, but it's not going away. She, What she does is she comes out, it gets crazy, everybody talks about it, then it dies down and then it comes back up. Now it's back bigger than it ever has been before because of some of the videos that she's released. We're gonna take a look at them and we are gonna try to get this stopped because I think that there is a solution if enough people are on board for mass reporting. Now that's the only way this is gonna work, unfortunately. So let's talk about it. So if you don't know who Ren Eleanor or Ren and Jacqueline is, is a TikToker who has 17 million followers who completely and utterly exploits this child for all that she's worth. Okay, um, and people are starting to notice certain things like the amount of saves on certain videos. So if you go to just a normal video, like let's say this one has 663,000 views, um, it's got like 846 saves, 19,000 hearts. She's since turned her comments off because of the stuff that's going on right now. But then if you go to like any video where Ren is eating, and then if you go to one like this, this most recent one where she's eating ice cream in the in the thing, because here's the thing, she chooses what you get to see as the thumbnail. And she always chooses the phallic foods in the thumbnail because it, does, because it gets her many, many, many views, right? That one has 7.8 million views, right? 30 million views where the thumbnails are drinking out of a straw. 30 million views with 58,000 saves. That's the thing people are really looking at. It's the saves. Why are 58,000 people dialing saves of a child drinking out of a straw or eating a banana or eating food or putting things? But this is what really got me. This is what I'm like, okay, when I was on vacation, this one came up. And this is the video that really, really, really got me. It's one of her most recent videos. It's got 9.9 .9 million views. And look at this. Never swallow your gum. It will be stuck in your stomach for seven years. That's what the mom is saying to the child. Now, look, I just need you to hear this. It's like, it is crazy to me how disgusting Jacqueline is because she does this on purpose. None of this is a mistake because her entire channel is full of stuff like this. People are putting two and two together and that audio could go viral amongst predators. Okay. That video will like, could likely go viral amongst predators. She's not showing any gum. It's just her saying, I swallowed. Is that okay? Like you, you have to understand this. Okay. The world is full of disgusting people. Like I cover people like Kira and everybody else who have kinks, like fart kinks and weird kinks. There are people who want to hurt children, who want to do things to children. There's no denying this. There's no denying that they go on the internet to find it when they can't get it legally. This is where they go get it, okay? These family vloggers. This person who did this, who posted this, she did that 100% on purpose because she gets tons of money from it. She makes millions of dollars exploit your child in very hyper-sexualized content, right? She came out with a video a little while ago, we covered it where she's like, no, it's not. She makes all these videos and she makes all these posts like, uh, she tries to be innocent in all this, but there is no innocence. Like, why do you choose the thumbnail with the ice cream like this or her drinking out of a straw? Why, choose, why are most of her thumbnails with her mouth open? Okay, she knows she's followed by predators. She, there's no way she doesn't know, okay? And she posts this stuff because this is her main audience. At this point, I'm questioning whether or not Jacqueline herself is a chomo. How do you not put two and two together that way? That she absolutely, completely exploits and traffics her daughter on this stuff for predators to watch unless she knows what she's doing and is targeting those individuals to do that with her daughter. At this point, it warrants an investigation. Look what's going on with Tiffany Smith, who was Piper Raquel's mom, who was, who was going to court and when she was walking to a post office with one of the creators that is suing her, she told that little girl that she sells Piper's used underwear and bras to men who like to sniff them. That is a big underground thing as far as I'm aware because we're women who sell their farts to people in jars and make thousands of dollars. How do we know that she's not doing craziness like this and thinking it's innocent because she's not selling her daughter, but she's selling her garments to people? Okay, that's what I'm thinking is like the next step. There, This story, the Ren and Jacqueline story, I honestly believe 
is going to be the catalyst for change for child exploitation because, and I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. And I know I'm saying this out loud. I think that she has probably the most predators following her. And I don't think this is going to end well. I think that this kid has a ton of, a ton of predator. I think she's a target of many, many, many predators who follow her everywhere. We're going to go through the Reddit form in a minute. And you're going to find out that people know where they are at all times. You're going to find through when we on this video that people are finding that name associated with Pornhub. And that this kid is probably the most digitally trafficked child on the internet. And with the emergence of AI, that likely just exploded. Because now they've got audio of her saying things like that. I swallowed that. I swallowed it. Is that okay? Okay. This is what she is serving up on a silver platter and she's doing it on purpose. It's not innocent. She knows it's not innocent because she's been called out on it many times and just refuses to listen to anybody. This is going to end badly. And this child is the victim and has always been the victim and will be the victim in so many ways, especially digitally. Okay. So let's look at this. So one of the things that really, really got me was this one here. Jackie's statements are actually be absolutely BS. Now her statements were, no, I, the, the FBI couldn't find anything on the internet about my child, so it can't be true. Pfft, are you serious? Are you out of your damn mind? Like the FBI is gonna go searching for something, they're not gonna find it. Like they get reports and they have people, there's so much going on in the internet that that's a drop in the bucket. And so she went on and did this statement with dead eyes where she was like, it's not true, he, me. But this person says this, Jackie's statements are absolutely BS. Look at this. Nobody has presented any real evidence and no law enforcement agency I've conferred with has found any proof that my daughter's likeness appears on any appropriate websites either. These rumors are false. They're not rumors. Look at this. This is the search. Ren Eleanor porn videos. Ren Eleanor XXX video in Area 51 porn. Ren Eleanor robot. Ren Eleanor Roboto fakes bondage nude Anna Sophia. I don't even know what Anna Sophia is, and I don't think I want to know. Okay, is a is AI porn generators get better? The stakes get higher. There's more. The DOJ Office of the Inspector General OAG found that the FBI does not maintain a bureau-wide dark web strategy and, insisted, and ins instead relies on its operational units to execute individual dark web investigative tool development and acquisition. So she lied. She didn't reach out to the, hey, FBI, I'm wondering if you got any pictures of my daughter that's nude. <laughs> Are you? She just lied to you. She states that the FBI did not find anything, but if it was looking into properly, other child sex crime organizations wouldn't be involved heavily. How do I save online safety precautions I've taken include turning off the ability to download or do at our videos. That doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't protect your daughter at all. They can download your videos in two seconds flat. You want to see how to download a TikTok video? No, you know what? No, I'm not going to show you how to do it. Just in case there are people out there who don't know, but it is really freaking easy. Okay. Really easy. Anyway, they show you here how to do that. Basically, it's super easy to download a, a video anywhere. And then she says this, or do at our videos. My TikTok analytics show that my account followers are 76.8% female. That's more than 13 million females, including lots of moms. And I'm grateful for their interest and support. Interest in your daughter eating ice cream? Okay. Or saying things like that? First of all, this is the craziest, like, straw man I've ever seen in my life. Well, that means there's 13 million females. That also means that there are 4 million dudes watching your thing. And don't forget, that's just the analytics she sees. That's not the engagement analytics. Okay, I did a video on uh, Everly LeBrant about the engagement analytics a long time ago. If I could access those things again, I absolutely would. But they've made it unaccessible to people like me who want to call it out now, by the way. Okay, I've changed that whole thing. Okay, I've made it harder for people to get the analytics, but engagement analytics are different. If the, if the engagement analytics existed for Ren nowadays, you would likely see that reversed. It'd be like 76.8% males engaging with the content, not downloading it, not subscribing to it, but just in looking at it. Because engagement analytics take a look at who's seeing it, not who's subscribed. So she has different analytics that are likely being engaged. So there are 4,080,000 known men and she tries to like, just be like, well, look, there's 13 million females, 4 million men watching a little girl. And that doesn't bring you any pause. None whatsoever. None. Zero. Okay. The prevalence of pedophilia in the general population is not known, but is estimated to be lower than 5%. So there's potentially 200,000 predators, just predators, not just strange dudes, but predators watching and following this girl for her content. And if you knew there were 200,000 men following you, and your daughter, would you continue to put that stuff on the internet? Would you? Next one happened here. 
Uh, I saw the comment, it's almost time. Now, this is a comment that's been showing up in her content before she took her comments down. It's something says it's almost time. So someone asked, so someone asked AI what it means. The phrase, it's almost time, might be used by pedos as a cho- as a coded or veiled reference to their anticipation of being in proximity to children or engaging in harmful behaviors. It could indicate their readiness or intention to commit abusive acts, often in contexts where they feel they are about to have access to potential victims. However, it's crucial to remember that such language and behaviors are deeply harmful and illegal and they should be reported to appropriate authorities. Now, if you're seeing it's almost time in comments about your child, it's time to take the content down. We did a video yesterday in the Cosmopolitan where these parents admittedly admitted openly and freely that they know predators are watching and that it is dangerous for the kids and they don't care. Okay, but if someone's saying it's almost time, it's time for you to get your kid off the internet. This is one of the most, again, one of the most digitally trafficked kids out there. I thought this too. She has so many followers that it's very possible a whole group of these predators are banding together to prepare for a crime. I wouldn't put it past them. There are so many comments talking about her and how it's almost time. This is, again, this is something that's popping up prevalent in her channel and her content and her comments. The fact that she's so blasé about it is just gives me chills. Yeah, she doesn't even care. This is the craziest thing about this. She knows it's going on. She knows the content she's putting out. She knows the dangers and she does not care. There's another post on Reddit that's got me scared. Something is coming soon. I'm just so scared. So this person says, Jacqueline already knows men have been figuring out where Ren lives from incredibly disturbing, scary comments for all to read. Before she scrubbed her feed, it doesn't stop the problem. You're 100% right, and your concern is sadly backed up by just two comments from men in Ren's comments I read before the blow-up. One, I saw Ren park. I saw Ren at the park today. Middle-aged man following other kids, young women, and feet videos. Ew and scary AF. How could you not stop posting? So two, I know where Ren is from, the places she goes, which is a comment that was left on the thing. So terrifyingly easy to figure out from the videos. Like the county fair where she was made to do the whole corn dog, hot dog crap, and the pervs come out in droves to watch, save and duo and upload to CSAM sites. The poor little sweet pea legit so worried, all the attention has invited even more creeps right on in. This is from last year. It terrifies me how easy it is to find Ren. The moment someone can't control their urges anymore, it is over. And this is true. There are so many stories about sickos on the dark web selling insane amounts of information about children and their whereabouts. Creepy, creepy details. Stalkers, community members that you would never even expect. Regular children that nobody know about. Now imagine how many things are going to go out there about this poor girl. So what they're saying is that even if just regular children, there is this dark web infrastructure that says this is where kids are, this is vulnerable kids, and I can sell you that information. Imagine how many times it is for this kid, right? When a person says it's almost time, it might mean that they live near them, or there's a relationship that they have built with Jacqueline, or they know where she goes to dance, or she knows what park she goes to, or where she's going to be in the future. This is going to end badly. Does anyone remember that TikToker could look at a video and determine exactly where you were when you just took it by looking at the background? Yeah, that guy is really popular too, by the way. So this person writes this, people, power, and actions we can take. One thing that is frustrating with me is this group that posts up and then I don't know where to go or report posts because it isn't clear where they are. I really want to do something to stop this being allowed, but I can't work out who's the biggest enabler. Is it TikTok? Is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? It's all of them. Okay, but TikTok for them is probably their biggest. TikTok is the most dangerous, I think, for kids just because it's unmitigated disaster that China has put in place for this exact reason. So here's my suggestion to all this Ren stuff is every single creator needs to call out Jacqueline in every single way and do what I'm doing here. Just do an expose on it. Okay, I know that there's one coming in April. I know Annie from 10 to Life has got a big interest in this and seeing Jacqueline go down just like I do. And so I'm going to team up with her and see if we can get more creators on board to cover this stuff. Even people who don't cover family exploitation, child exploitation, should do this, should cover this. This is a huge story. And this keeps coming back and rolling back to her until the friggin' Child Protection Services can get in there and start doing a proper investigation. I don't care if she's rich. I don't care if she's fed, blah, 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 has cars and vacations. This child is going to end up in a very dangerous situation. And then the law will change, unfortunately. But we can protect her now by mass reporting the content. I can't even get on TikTok for more than two months before being banned because the way I call people out gets me banned almost instantly. TikTok is full of disgusting people who enable this behavior. And if you go against what they like, they will mass report you. TikTok will just get rid of it. TikTok will do it. It'll happen. So what you can do is we can band together and mass report on TikTok. I mean thousands and thousands of an army of reporters on TikTok calling out this stuff. That's the only way it's going to work. 
She makes them money, which is why they, she's more protected than others. I didn't make TikTok any money. Instead, I had no vested interest. They had none in me. So they just boot me off. If I had millions of subscribers, it would have been a different story. But if you have thousands and thousands of people complaining at the same time targeted, you might be able to at least get some of the posts taken down, which she'll just repost anyway somewhere else. Okay, another thing you can do is absolutely, I know some people on this website are like, don't call these places, call them. Make, write emails. This person needs to, Jacqueline needs to be investigated to, to, to the nth degree. Check her computer. There's nobody that does this on purpose and is not a predator, in my, in my opinion, who posts things of her daughter eating and like very scary, like, and just saying the words that she's saying, like, oh, I swallowed it. Or like, even this, just this portable AC that she's doing. It's a friggin' phallic piece of material by her mouth. She does this so many times. And just got to look at the comments. The kid's in a full snowsuit here with 540,000 views, okay? And then a video of her eating. 10 million views. Straw. Drinking out of straw. 11.8 million. The eating. 8.5 million. Look at this one. 89 million views on this. Like, that's crazy. Because our take... Because this is... The reason they're doing this is because they're serving... Look at this kid, too. It looks like... Like, why are you putting, why are you putting makeup filters on this little girl? Because she wants her to look older, too. She is, again, she is bringing all the predators to her yard, and she's doing it on purpose. Like, I understand some people saying, it's not my intention, and I'm really sorry this happens, but Jacqueline is doing it on purpose. She knows what she's doing. She knows what brings her the most views, and it always has to do with, like, straws or food or phallic objects or phrases. This is insane. This girl needs to be protected at all costs. And unfortunately, the protection, look, eating olives, 3.8 million. More straws, 30 million. This kid needs to be taken away from Jacqueline and protected at all costs. Because I honestly believe she is the most digitally trafficked little girl on the internet. Garza Cruz is probably a close second. And there are, and if there are comments saying it's coming soon, and she's not. And she's not taking any precautions for that. That's this kid is in mortal danger, not just of being digitally trafficked and having her whole world in because that's that's just as bad. And that's bad enough to be honest with you, okay? But she's in mortal physical danger because this mom doesn't take any precautions. She the mom looks like she's five foot two, a hundred pounds, soaking wet. What are you going to do about it if someone really wants to take your daughter? What are you going to do about it? Right? This is disgusting, and this kid is in absolute danger, and the only way we can do this is by just using the tools at our disposal legally, which is mass reporting, calling the authorities. This kid is in danger. If you see a comment from a dude in her comment section on Instagram and stuff, call that person out, screenshot it, and make a report. This kid is in danger. I don't know how many times I have to say that. Because of what the mom has done with her and put her on the internet as. People, if you, a lot of people will blank stuff or they won't say who it is and they won't call her out by name and all that stuff. And that doesn't, I mean, I get that. I understand why people do that. But unless you see it with your own eyes, how can you be outraged like me? You need to be outraged. And so sometimes that's why we show these things. This is disgusting what she has done. And this kid is in danger. And if this kid gets hurt someday or whatever the case may be, we've all been saying it forever. She's going to be to blame. Jacqueline is going to be to blame. And money, and it's so evident now more than ever that money matters more because she's been called out like this on many, on huge scales before. And now it's just escalating more. Tag your favorite creator and send them this video. Okay, who does videos, who does commentary, does any of this stuff. Get every creator talking about this. It's the most important topic right now. Ren needs to be saved. The end. Everybody, take a breath. What do we do? Does anybody have any suggestions below how else we can help this girl? I just, I don't... I don't want to be the person that says I told you so, especially when it comes to this little girl. What are we going to do? And the laws aren't being made fast enough at all to pr protect her. And if there are comments like that happening, and if she is showing up on these videos, then what are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's already too late as far as I'm concerned, especially when it comes to the digital trafficking of her. Already way too late. Already way past time. We live in a disgusting, sick world. And for the most part, the disgusting sickoness of the world is being celebrated. People with weird kinks and stuff and fetishes like, don't kink shame, don't fetish shame. But these, this is fetishes for these people too. 
And we've allowed this to like perpetuate to this point where it's like, don't ever shame anybody for no you. If you like children, delete yourself. Okay? If you like children in that way, delete yourself. You don't belong here with any of us. Ne and, and we should never even allow a one inch forward for that world and those people who stand up for those people to come forward. Not one inch. Don't give them an inch ever. She's given them a mile. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm ranting about this, but it's really, really important. So thank you for being here for these conversations. I really appreciate you. And I hope that you stick around for all these and help me with this. Figure out how we can get this done. Thank you for being here. And I will see you when I see you.